Hey, y'all know what's crazy. This right here, this little device, not even a phone. I heard somebody said that's the least of what we do on here. This is not even a phone. It's basically like a little, like, small computer. A small computer that has our attention all day, 24-7. <clears throat> no matter if you're at work, you have to have it. If you're at uh, school, you got to have it. At home, just chilling, you got to have it for some type of entertainment. This phone, which ain't going to come to a surprise to a lot of y'all, very really disconnected us from God himself. And what I mean by that is, just look how much time we spend on this phone compared to like real life activities. Like you remember back in the day, like you actually had to go outside to have fun. Like you you had games and stuff on the inside, but being more, being outside was more fun. And I'm holding my camera right now cause I can't set it up nowhere cause I ain't got the stand. And if I did that, y'all, you ain't gonna see me. So the thing is bro, us having this phone, it disconnected us from God. It disconnected us from each other. Even though we so-called more connected than we ever been, we also the most like disconnected we ever been also. Like we basically like slaves to these little computers because like you can't put it down. Like you, we enslaved mentally. Black people in particular, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's the whole human race, but black people in particular because I think about slavery. We went from being in shackled slaves to being enslaved mentally. We give this phone so much attention yet if we break it we don't even know how to fix it like we the, th the thing that we in all day you'll have to pay 300 some dollars or however much money you pay the apple or whoever you pay to fix it on your phone if you crack it you have to pay that much money money to fix it but the thing is you own it all day so how how do you not have the time or you know what i'm saying how do you not know how to fix it i don't know how to fix it either but i'm saying that in my explanation like I don't like I don't understand like how we so programmed we so attached to these phones that we need it for everything yet we, we don't even know the basics of it like you don't even know how to re rewire your phone you don't know how to uh fix on the battery if something go wrong with it you don't know how to flash, fix the flashlight in it the camera none of that we always got to take it to somebody to get it fixed yet we don't know yet we don't know how to fix it ourselves another reason why i say it disconnects us from god is because which it really ain't gonna come to a surprise but a lot of people don't even really pray for real or like instead of like asking on god for stuff and for answers like we go run straight to the phone and run straight to google we run the uh, uh bing yahoo whatever you look stuff up on but we go straight to Google asking Siri, Alexa, all these people instead of praying. But to the caliber, if I don't do that, I'll read something in the Bible. And if I don't, and I, if I didn't read it a million times, I still don't understand, like get the concept of it. Then I'll go to like the internet for like, I'll pray on it a little bit. And then probably a little after that, I'll go to like the uh, internet to get like a better understanding just so I won't be at a standstill and like I continue reading. So it's like, how much do we really need these phones? Because if somebody took these phones away from us or if, the, if it was a social media outage or if it was a, a Instagram, no, not Instagram. If it was just a Wi-Fi outage in general, how crazy would people go not being able to get on the game, uh, watch TV because a lot of a lot of TVs are Wi-Fi based now. A lot of people don't got satellite for real. Or get on the phone. And if we like was truly forced to like indulge in each other again, like how it used to be, how like how would we make it? Because even the little kids now are so dependent on the phones and stuff. Like, when we were growing up, we didn't even have phones. I didn't even get my first phone until the sixth grade, and I paid for my own phone. But if we really had to go back to how people used to do it, like, back in the day, like, without phones or really, like, a, a, a stable source of, like, technology for real. Well, they had technology, but it's not, like, the electronical technology that we have now. But if we was to go back then, how could we survive? Because older people now, 
the is a lot of the people that used to despise us like especially my generation growing up and using phones like they they got caught in the trap also you'll see like you'll be at the doctor's office and you'll see like a me like old older people on their phones too and like they just scrolling a lot of the older people look like the younger people when it comes to like this technology and stuff now like you don't really see too many in the doctor office just like like Wayne or like reading magazines and which I know could be like it sounds boring as hell now but like that's what we had to do like back in the day like for real for real like before I grew up before I got their phone like you don't see kids at the doctor's office no more like playing with the um like in the middle like they used to have that tour area where like the kids you play you don't see nobody in that no more but when they say civilization is like benefiting is on the game we on the game but it's also to a certain extent we get more advanced in technology yet we we are the weakest and we are the most like some of the most weak well I, yeah just weak i was just trying to find another uh synonym for weak but yeah we was the most like weakest people that you ever see like in the generations that this world has ever seen we are the most wicked because of our phones we are the most and i'm talking about the people as a whole we the most wicked as a whole we are the most boring as a whole because a lot of the people that you see online and stuff like don't even have personality like when you see them in person like it's like people uh, social media and stuff is like being forced to put people in a uh, a permanent character that, that they can't escape from because they always have to or feel like that they always have to meet up with this expectation that's why when i get on camera i just be myself i don't really do too much if i if i crack a joke here and there like that just really like how i am like i'm not just putting on for the camera like my wife will tell you like my friends will tell you anybody that around me will tell you like i'm not just i'm not just putting on the clown mask and just getting on camera and just uh having somebody throw pies at me and then how i'm gonna end this video off i'm gonna advise everybody that's watching this video or that watch my videos to comment their fa favorite bible verse and i'm not talking about nothing like uh, Jesus Web or under that mother that father or uh, not just some just generic that you just heard not just some generic that you just like didn't hear I like I want you like actually like get in the Bible and like recite your famous not famous your favorite Bible verse where is mine right now is it is from Job Joe hold on let me look it up I know what it is but I, I want to get like the I don't know the where it came from specifically here you go Job 15 20 and it said the wick this is the english version it said the wicked who oppress others will be in torment as long as they live and the regular version i believe it's um the the wicked man traveleth with pain all of his days so it basically saying like if you wicked and you doing bad to others you already in the state of like you doing bad because of somebody that truly happy with themselves ain't gonna just go around making somebody else's life miserable. And so that's why he also tells don't rejoice when your enemies fall because in reality they just getting karma for what they truly like. They getting karma for how they treat others. You know what I'm saying? They getting karma for how they treat others. But at the same time, they just need, they wouldn't have that certain thing. It would, they just prayed and just look within themselves to build themselves and get let go of all that trauma. Because a lot of stuff, a lot of people walk around with childhood trauma, bro. But I'm getting, I'm getting a hundred percent off topic. I'm, I apologize. But yeah, I advise everybody to at least spend like two hours off your phone or an hour at best. I know like we addicted to the phone, gotta have it like crack, but at least like try an hour a day like just without your phone like no music no nothing to just take in the day just take in the stuff that you're doing the tasks that you're doing and just enjoy yourself ain't finna talk your heads so that really all i had to say if you like this video make sure you like come subscribe turn on post notifications all that good stuff and until next time on this video i'm out